Hey everyone, welcome back to A Maker Studios YouTube channel. My name is Leonev, and normally you would find me on my own YouTube channel, DIY Beauty on Purpose, where I create DIY home decor all on a budget. Today I have a really cool and exciting DIY for you. I know that you can recreate at home, so let's go over the items that we're going to be using. That way you can take some notes. All right, so one of the first items that we are going to be using is some poster board. I got this poster board at the Dollar Tree for $1.25, and I already had it on hand, but again, for $1.25 is not bad at all. We're just gonna be using a small portion of it, but we're also gonna be using the non-shimmery side. So you know how there's like one that has, one side that has like the sheen, and then one's a little bit more matte? We're gonna use the matte side. You can also probably use some craft paper that is a little thicker than just regular paper um, or cardstock. That could work also. Um, but of course, in this case, I'm gonna use white because of the design that we are going to do. So that's the first thing we are going to use. Another thing that I'm gonna use is I already had this frame that I thrifted quite a bit ago and um, I painted it for the DIY that I did then, but uh, it's just, it's seen better days. So we're gonna brighten it up and give it a fresh coat of paint. And that's what we're gonna use. The stencil that we're gonna use from A Maker Studio is this one. It has a beautiful, very inspirational, scripture-based stencil, which is my preferred. And um, I believe we're gonna use this one here that says that she is strong from Proverbs 31 verse 25 love it love it i think it's going to be great for what we're going to be making today we're going to be using a gel art ink by a maker studio this is in the hey y'all which is a beautiful teal color we've used it before um and um, i just love the way it kind of lightens very bright almost like my nail color once it's applied and dried so really really cool of course we're going to use the squeegee and we're also going to be using some chalk art this is the preaching to the choir which is a really dark black color so we're going to be using that as well i'm also going to be using a sanding block uh, for the frame but we'll go over that as we get going all right so the first thing i want to do is get the frame painted because that way it can dry and have time to dry so we're going to use my sanding block and again i'm just going to sand it over uh, just to remove any roughness and then getting it ready for a new coat of paint. I get my sanding blocks from Dollar Tree. Um, they're $1.25 for one. However, I recently went to the hardware store and they had six of them, I think it was or maybe even more, I'll have to check, but it was like a pack and it was like for four something, it was like under $5. So that's even a better deal. And I use them all the time. Okay. I can already feel such a difference just by sanding, but we still wanna get it uh, give it a new coat of paint. We're going to give it one coat of the One Step Paint by Amy Howard at home, and this is the Spa White. So they're one of these like flat brushes. I'll put some paper underneath so that um, I don't get it on my surface, and also I can then take it um, uh, like this to to let it dry. See how that white is more of an off-white, kind of like a beigey undertone. So it's very pretty, gray kind of. So we're just gonna give it one coat. That's all it needs because it already has that white undertone. And this is just going to give it that fresh coat and um, just just look pretty, just so beautiful. It's, it's amazing what paint can do to, of course, a room, a home, but even home decor. So this is what I do for a living. I I create, update, home decor, and of course, all on a budget. And it's just paint is it's relatively inexpensive and it goes a long way. And sometimes just giving something one coat of paint, or even if it's multiple, but just giving it a fresh coat just brightens it up and it just makes a world of a difference. So I love painting. 
it's one of my favorite things to do because of that same reason. Very inexpensive option to update home decor. So even something like this. And anytime I get anything at the thrift store, nine times out of 10, I paint it <laughs> some sort of new color, or even if it's the same similar color, but just to brighten it up. Look how pretty that looks already. All right, so now we're gonna put that to the side and we will uh, let it dry. All right, so now moving along to the poster board. The opening of the frame that I have is a five and a half by about six, I'm sorry, no, four and a half by about six and a half. So I am going to cut the piece of poster board to about um, seven and a half by five and a half, so an inch bigger than what the opening is. So I'm going to take advantage that this uh, already has a straight cut. So we're just going to mark and let's see. So we want to do seven and a half. So right here. And then we're going to do five and a half, which is about right here. And then we're just gonna draw the lines and then just connect them and, and then make cuts. I'm not one that cuts pretty straight at all. So if I can get some help <laughs> with lines. So let's cut. So now we have the, the, the size that we need. What I want to do today is I want to use the gel art ink, which is this one, and I want to use it as a watercolor. So we're going to water it down quite a bit, and I want to create an ombre look. If you're not familiar with what ombre look is, it's basically it just goes from dark to light. Um, so my goal is to water down the paint and then um, go from dark all the way to light, and I want the lightest to be at the bottom. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Oops, let's just place a little bit there. I'm gonna have several brushes here, um, just because that way I have several sizes, but honestly, I mean, any brush would do. I'm gonna start with this one. It's it's flat and it's a little bit on the on the wide side, and I think it'll, look, it'll, it'll work well. All right, so we have the paint, and I have some water here that I'm just gonna pour just a little bit and start watering down. So I think my goal, what I wanna do is start with the darkest and work my way down to the lightest. That way I can keep adding water and water and water to make it lighter and lighter. All right, so this is gonna be my top side. So I'm gonna start from dark to light. See how it's watering down, just like watercolor. So let's start. I want a little darker. Isn't that color pretty? Okay. I'm gonna water it down even more and kind of work my way down and just keep doing this, keep watering it down until it is, oh, just until it turns white. And it's gonna remain wet, so I can always add as needed. Um, so like right now, I think I wanna make it a little darker up here. So I darken it and I just want to kind of uh, make it a little darker. See how pretty that looks? It already has that nice um, 
dark to light color and it's curling on me because it's getting wet but I was expecting that I'm gonna add it just a little bit a little bit more of color up here and then just lighten it up as I go down just so that it has a little bit more color pretty okay I'm almost where I want it to be honestly all right so I think I like it I think I'm gonna leave it like this I'm not gonna over brush it I am going to let it dry completely wash everything and then come back and we're gonna add one more step so remember how it was curling on me because it was wet I just placed my square ruler here just to flatten it and then I am using my heat gun just to kind of get it dry in a flat um, surface. So we're gonna keep the square ruler where it is and then we're gonna start drying it. So we have our poster board. I love how it looks almost like the ocean. Um, I just love it. All right, so it's nice and dry and we are now going to start stenciling the design and it's gonna be the uh, She Is Strong Mesh Stencil by A Maker Studio. So I'm gonna remove it. Um, if you've never worked with mesh stencils, A Maker Studio is the best. They have such good quality um, stencil materials and the designs are just stunning I love them a lot of them come in a big piece like this all together but um, you can always use them as as is or you can always cut them and use them separately and that's what I did with this one um, that I use on a different DIY so I am going to cut this one here All right, now, I love that this has the She Is Strong and then it has these little like rays, almost like the sunshine. I think I'm going to do those in a yellow and I have this beautiful yellow here in the chalk art that I think will look great. So we're gonna do those separately and hopefully <laughs> I don't mix them up. So what you wanna do is you wanna remove the design the stencil it's almost like a sticker and then what I want with this one is I want to put it towards the bottom here kind of like bottom right so a little bit more toward the right but not too too much right because I don't want it to be covered by the frame so we're gonna place it here and just stick it right on then I'm gonna take the gel arc this is in the preaching to the choir which is the dark all right so I'm gonna take my squeegee and a little bit goes a long way so I'm not gonna need a lot at all and even if I do have way too much I can always put it back in the container so we're just gonna go with that little bit I think that should be sufficient and again we're just going to do the she is strong the scripture and the cross as a matter of fact let me cover some of the rays so that I don't get any other black on them. There you go. All right, so we're just gonna do the rest and basically you just wanna squeegee it on. little bit less I'm just gonna put it back on and then we're going to remove this and we're quickly going to do the yellow I'm gonna wipe down the let me get it wet the squeegee all right 
and then we're going to do the yellow. And I'm just going to try to stay really close to the edge there. There you go. Okay, that's it. We're going to remove the stencil and reveal the design. There you go. Look at that. Oh no, I got some here. Hopefully the frame will um will cover it. But look how pretty that looks. I think I just went too hard when I removed it and I swiped it on there. But that's okay. We're gonna try to fix it. I'm just so stunned at how pretty this looks the yellow and then the black everything's so crisp let me show you a little close-up it's like screen printing I love it love it all right we're gonna let that dry and I'm gonna go wash this I'm just gonna rinse it under some lukewarm water remove the excess ink and um, yeah just get it ready to use it on another time all right so I do want to distress a little bit of the frame just to kind of pull a little bit of that white like that bright white that was underneath it. I think that's going to give it a little bit more dimension and it's just going to make it look so pretty. So you see how when I'm sanding, you see that white popping through? It's just beautiful. So that's exactly what I want. That way it gives it just that nice, um, just dimension and character. So I'm going to focus on the edges, the corners, just where it would naturally distress the most. And then I'm just going to do the inside here of the frame. And I'm just going to sand down everywhere to smooth it out and um, then have it ready. So such a pretty frame to begin with. So solid too. All right. I'm going to wipe it down really well. And now it's time to attach the design. So I have the design here and what we want to do is we want to flip it over and then we want to place it, right? So then we're going to staple it or we can even tape it, but I just want to turn it around and see kind of like where I'm at. I like that. I think that works really well. So I'm just going to keep it there. I'm going to try to just tape it and see how that looks because the beautiful thing is that then when we want to change the design we can just change it we don't have to worry about you know making additional holes or anything like that so we're just going to tape it and see how that works I'm gonna keep this one for myself because it goes really well with my summer decor this year. So I'm not worried about it looking very pretty in the back. If I was gonna sell it, then I would wanna maybe paint the back, cover it up, and just make it look a bit more finished. But this one's gonna be for me, so I'm okay. Look how pretty that looks. This is it, guys. You're gonna have to let me know what you think of this beautiful watercolor ombre style design that we made. And then look at that stencil. Isn't that stunning? I love it. It's actually one of my favorites. And I say that, I just, I love them all. But I know you will too. So don't forget to check out all the links down in the description box where you can find all of these supplies in A Maker Studios website. Don't forget to also subscribe to this channel. You're going to get tons of inspiration every single week. So make sure you hit that notification bell right next to the subscribe so you get notified every time we upload a video. Also, don't forget to check out my YouTube channel, DIY Beauty on Purpose, where I create DIY home decor all on a budget. I post weekly, so make sure that you go and check it out. And if you love what you see, I hope you join our YouTube family as well. Have fun creating, have a blessed day, and I'll see you later. Bye.